Nice meeting you, Shitose Kisaragi. Hello everyone, and we are back. Turn to Super Robot Wars. Last time, we cleared out a frontline base for the forces of um, the uh, Gabalons. And we have not yet reached the next batch of DLC missions. Those are on after the mission six. And we got some, and uh, we got a bunch of SR points. Just a second, we bring up some stuff on my end here. So, got some cash. Bang Ray is pretty heavily upgraded on the armor and mobility front, and Gurren Goost. Kaikai's looking good. F91 is not the best. I didn't spend much on upgrading the F91. Let's upgrade your mobility. Real quick. I'd like you to be a little less... I mean, you're squishy. I, but if you're going to be a glass cannon, let's make you a hard to... Let's make you a nimble glass cannon. Alright. Okay, you're staying aboard. Why have enough? So you have enough points to buy another run rank of S proud ace. Alright, and let's get started. Back in the bang, Ray. How's it going, Velt? The analyzer is interrogating System 99. You hacked aboard the Yamato mainframe when you boarded, did you not? There is no escape. I recognized your unusual signal the instant you surfaced and began transmitting. You are what done. You know what done it. Confess. Violence, I see. Well, in that case, I have some ideas. Analyzer, wait. There's no need to get violent. Who said I was getting violent? I was just going to play the complete works of Engelbert Humperdinck. This is just a warning, what you call a threat. Can AIs even understand threats? Well, clearly I understand threats, otherwise I couldn't make them in the first place. Abdul Sonata, what's this about System 99 hacking into the Yamato? It was well hidden, but we eventually fi finally figured out that its orders and clearance for you and Insign Kisaragi to board the Yamato did not come from us. Which means someone used System 99 to get us aboard the Yamato. Correct. We just don't know who yet. Analyzer, is there any way you could figure out who might have done this? That is impossible. Aren't you one of the, the Yamato's subsystems? One of the Earth's most powerful computers? Can't you figure this out? 
What I have established is System 9.9 and I have completely different file structures. She's using NTFS and I'm using FAT32. Why are you using FAT32? Actually, not even FAT32. I'm just using FAT. Why are you still using FAT? Because I was designed in the 1970s. Which means I will need to, a significant amount of time in order to perform a complete analysis. Also, I'm running a 386 processor. Again, actually, not even 386. I'm running an 8086 because it was designed in the 70s. Why? Why must I? Why was the 1970s computer be running and uh, be having to contend with a much more higher spec, much more attractive? Wait, I didn't say uh, attractive artificial intelligence. Wait, did I say that in my out loud voice? If possible, I would like to completely remove System 99 from the Vang Ray. No, don't do that. I'm just just another rookie pilot without the Vang Ray. Hey, System 99, hurry up and tell us everything you know, would you? Actually, he's probably he's using seductive face. Let's try it. Let's try this again. Hey, System 99, hurry up and just tell us everything you know, would you? Nothing. No use, Ensign Murakumo. She doesn't talk unless there's something she wants to say. For the time being, we are to follow the commander's orders regarding the Vang Ray's handling. I don't. I just don't think it's that dangerous. At this point, you can do why. If it really wanted to interfere with the Yamato's voyage, it would have done so already. What we do not know, however, is how is why the system chose to reveal itself when it did. Maybe the impact of the attacks jolted it out of some sort of glitch. It's not con not constructed like the televisions of last century. Simply striking it wouldn't fix it. Paging the fawns to the white courtesy phone. Paging the fawns. Don't worry, System 99. We won't do anything too harsh to you. It's in Kisaragi. If threats do not work on AIs as you suggested, I find it strange that you would choose to threaten it yourself. Well, I know if I did... I know I wouldn't want someone to toy with me however they saw fit. I'd start talking. Maybe System 99 is just a machine, but to me it's a life-saving co-pilot and I plan to keep fighting alongside it. So I want to treat it like a human co-pilot. Pause. I did not respect such warmth from you. Hey, shut up! Ooh, that struck a nerve. I'll have to use that on her later. Ancient Murakumo, that is simply... Well, okay, now that we've got this out of the way, I'm going to go watch the Kincaid and Tobia Farewell... Tobia Farewell Weep Fest. You are just the worst. You are kind of a garbage person. <laughs> Well, we're off. Be careful, Kincaid. I'll come back for you. Just like I always have. I know you will. Excuse me, Captain Barra? Where's Bernadette? She's been in her room all this time. Oh, I see. Seeing how she must feel, seeing your face might make it harder to say goodbye. Sorry, consider how she must feel. Seeing your face might make it harder to say goodbye. I guess you're right. Thank you, Mr. Shinohara. You should still say goodbye, though, even if it's just through the door. Don't mention it. We're officially colleagues now. And since I'm Signal and you're not, that means you get to be my wingman at the bar. If you're old enough to drink. There are plenty of other women working on board the Yamato. You'll forget about her in no time. Forget that statement I just said. Also, Shinohara, you are terrible. I will not have you poisoning his mind with such talk, Shinohara. What? I was just trying to comfort him. By being a dick. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Farewell, Captain Barra. Tell, please tell Bernadette I will come back for her. Y you should say this to her personally. If I was animating this, the shot would work as he is have her go to outside her door, say it to her through the door, He'd walk away. Bear out, Bernadette would change her mind at the last minute, rush the door, open it, and just see his back as he rounded the corner. I realize we're doing this presentation visual novel style, but still. There's a visual way to do this. 
I shall. Oh, and don't worry about Kincaid, Captain. I will see to it he returns safely. That's why I buffed up the evasion on the, on the F-91. You told me the same thing before the final battle with the Jupiter Empire. Thank you, Tobia. Please look out for him. Let's go, Tobia. We've got to steal ourselves for the journey ahead. Yes, sir. I'll be back, Bernadette. Seabrook! Seabrook! I so desperately wanted to tell you not to go. This was your choice to make. You choose to fight for the future, not wallow in despair. I'll be waiting for you as Barrona. I'll probably know what your true identity was if I'd, sit, if I'd watched F91, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Wow, we're so far away from Jupiter already. Kodai, the briefing's about to start. Ah, okay, this must be about the transmission. Yep, cut to the war room. Those soundtrack transitions are about as seamless as an actual record scratch. Some of you may have already be aware that we received a stress signal in Federation Standard Code upon our departure from Jupiter. That could be... Quiet, Kodai. Special can't be ID'd, but the signal originated from the South Pole of Enceladus, a moon off Saturn. Is it actually think one of Saturn's moons? I'll have to look that up. Meteorological Officer Oda, approximately how many days will we lose by landing on Enceladus? Two, sir. Meteorological Officer? Wouldn't that be like Navigator? Are you like charting directions of solar winds? The technical officer, I recommend we do not stop. We can't afford to lose more time. What are you saying, Kodai? Are you suggesting that we abandon another Federation crew? Saying that we should not waste time looking for survivors which may or may not exist. We have a mission, and that mission is... You mean, you have a mission. Destroy the enemy base on Pluto with as much force as we did the ones on Jupiter. Is that what you were going to say? Oh, snap! And what exactly is wrong with that? We invaded our system, Pluto was the first to fall. When the planet bomb destroyed Earth, as we knew it, where did they launch it from? Pluto. Pluto has become the root of all evil, a root which we must tear out, whether we leave this system or not. Would you would you like to respond, oh, head navigator? Yes. We must ignore Pluto if we are to chart the fastest course to Iskandar. How dare you, Shima! Sorry, how dare you, Shima! I understand your feelings, Kodai, but our current problems do not include a surfeit of time. By that logic, the same goes for Enceladus. The difference being is we have a duty to respond. I am reminded somewhat of the early bits from um, uh, the Expanse from um, the Bison's Wake. We can't restore our stress signal we have already received. Commander, even if the odds of finding survivors are low, it's must, we must come to our aid. It bears mentioning that Shima has a bit more of a spacer's tan to him than Shiro does. And one of the things that come up often in works where you have a distinct difference between spacer culture and terrestrial culture is the idea of the spacer sort of code of ethics that uh, of the spacer duty to respond. That if you get a just strike signal, if you're, in a, if you're in any way able to provide aid, you provide aid because you'd expect someone to do the same for you because space is cold inhospitable and there's and very and will wants to kill you it's like 20 australias of wanting to kill you hmm apologies for my late arrival commander that is report part of the wave motion injures capacitor melted sir likely the result of firing the wave motion gun what Engineering Officer Tokugawa reports that we may not be able to continue on unless it is repaired. Well, he, he said that, but he also said it in the Scottish Brook, for some reason. Further, we, it appears we will need Cosmonite 90 in order to make those repairs. Garada, do we have any Cosmonite 90 on board? I checked as soon as I received word from Officer Sonata. We're well short of what we need. So we'll just end up adrift? Perhaps not. There is an abandoned Cosmonite mining facility on the surface of Enceladus. We may be able to retain some there. Commander, let me think. Commander, I have word from Security Officer Ito that a stowaway has been captured. 
Another one. Where is that? The tenth dug. The tenth dug it. We've already left Jupiter. That is not my name. I am no longer the tenth Dugity. I am merely Bernadette Priette. Yep, yep, she she's still here. As daughter of the Supreme Leader of Jupiter, you were in charge of keeping the populace in line. If you snuck on board the Jupiter Damato to flee Jupiter altogether. Well, I doubt I can alter your perception. I contest your use of the word flee. Bad to tell us why. Tell you? No. I get the feeling you don't like us very much. But well, one of you never opens your eyes, and the other one has this kind of have this genteel manner of fact sternness to the that's what genteel manner of fact sternness, but like does the polite stern face. Bernadette! Papaya, I I'm sorry. I wanted you I just knew that you'd say no if I had told you I wanted to come with you. That is your justification for sneaking aboard? Sneaking aboard ships is your, speci is your specialty. Again, along with a certain character from Gundam Unicorn, who we may run into later. And this time I had Captain Barra's help as well. I see. So that's why she was behaving strangely when we came to say goodbye. Turn to dead. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know you're not one to run from your responsibilities. So tell me why. Why did you sneak aboard the Yamato? To be with you, you doofus. I just have to know, Tobia. I have to know what? What the people who followed my father, who attacked Earth, are looking for in the outer beaches. But My father couldn't let go of his hatred of Earth. Even when he was on Jupiter, it consumed him. If those who, have, who had set up for the outer reaches really have forgotten about Earth, I owe it to myself to find out what has that kind of power. When, it, when that dawned on me, it was so liberating, Tobia. For the first time in my life, I feel like I can lead the people of Jupiter towards a vital future from really far away. But you realize there's a chance that you won't make it back alive. Well, you're going to make it back alive, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And you'll be right there by my side. Well, she's quite the little princess. All well, Officer Kodai, how should we proceed? Well, we can't certainly Certainly can't take her back to Jupiter. I guess we'll just have to. What if we assign her to accounting? Were you eavesdropping off Itsun Kisaragi? I have a feeling that like the door opened and a whole bunch of people come crashing through. Because that's how eavesdropping works for these kind of scenes. Th that's like how this would play out in Gundam Double Zeta. We don't have much time, do we? It's the only way to keep things running smoothly. We already have Chief Harada's approval. She was probably also he eavesdropping. And you are? It's an Akira Yam Yamamoto in accounting, sir. I see. Very well. We will assign her to accounting. Are you, sir? She's a daughter of the Jupiter Empires. I will remind you I am now Bernadette Priette, and I will work hard to atone for sneaking around. I'm at your service and reporting for duty. Understood. If you have any further questions, ask Insane Yamamoto and the others. Yamamoto and the others. Bernadette! I know I caused a lot of trouble, Tobia, but this is the path I chose. I don't have anything more to say, just make sure you tell me next time, okay? Okay! Well, that worked out alright in the end. Perhaps we have one more accounted at any rate. If this keeps up, we're going to have to rename this ship the Crimson Permanent Assurance. I'm sorry? Nothing. It's fine. Change course. We're heading to Aceladus. Remember, securing Cosmonite is our top priority. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.